In this tutorial, I'm going to focus on the autofill handle in Excel, sometimes also just called the fill handle. And I touched on this in my intermediate Excel skills tutorial, but I wanted to, in this tutorial, to focus exclusively on the autofill handle. And what is the autofill handle? Basically, it is just this innocent looking green square in the lower right corner of a cell that you've clicked on. So if I click on this cell, there it is looking innocent and not particularly powerful or useful. There it is again. There it is again. So that little green square. What is its purpose? Generally, it helps you to copy the contents of a cell. For example, if I click here in I1 and I type a name and tap enter on the keyboard, that name is now in cell I1. And I can then click on I1 and go to the autofill handle and click and hold the click and then drag down. And what does it do? It copies the contents of I1, copies it down as far as I clicked and dragged. Now it works that way, particularly with text. There are some exceptions, but if you want text to be copied, click on the cell that has the text, go to the autofill handle, click and drag, and it copies it down. Now with numbers, sometimes it's a little different. So let's try some numbers. Here in J1, I'm gonna type a number one, and then click away and then back to the one, and then I'll click on the autofill handle and drag down, and you can see it still copied the number one, copied it down. So it worked the same way with numbers. However, the autofill handle can also be used to extend a pattern. So I can establish a pattern, one, two, three, and then I can click and drag to show Excel that pattern, to identify it. By highlighting this, one, two, three, Excel is smart and it's figuring out, okay, that's what he wants. He wants to continue that pattern. So now as I use the autofill handle, look what it did. It extended the pattern. Now the pattern can be kind of complicated if you want it to be. So I could put in, let's say, some odd numbers only. Click and drag to highlight the odd numbers. Use the autofill handle and look, it continued the pattern, only odd numbers. So you can play with that and see what kind of patterns the autofill handle in Excel can recognize. Now the autofill handle, or again it can be called just the fill handle, also works particularly well with anything related to time. And so here we have a time here at the left. This is a weekly schedule and we have one day, Sunday, but I'd like to add all of the days here. Well, do days relate to time? Yes, they do. And so watch what happens. If I click on Sunday and use the autofill handle, I can click and drag. And as I do, you can see a preview appear down here. So I can see that it is extending the pattern. Now there wasn't a pattern, but because Sunday is related to time, the autofill handle just figures it out and realizes that I'd like to have Monday come after Sunday. Now, what if that's not the case? Typically, yes, you want Monday to follow Sunday. But what if I just want the word Sunday repeated over and over? If you want to force the autofill handle in Excel to copy like it did with Jason Smith and not to extend a pattern, all you have to do is click on the cell, use the autofill handle, but before you click, hold the control key on the keyboard and then drag. And that way it forces it to copy and not to extend the pattern or follow a time sequence. I'm gonna undo that because I really do want the days of the week. And I'll just clear out Jason Smith here, at least the extra ones. Now let's look at times. Here we have 6 a.m. I'll just go to the autofill handle, click and drag, and pull that down until let's say 10 p.m. Because the time of day is related to time, the autofill handle just knows what to do. It just added an hour to each cell. And when it got to p.m., it didn't hesitate, it just switched to p.m. Now you might be thinking, what if you want it to be not 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., but maybe 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m.? Well, just type in 6.30 a.m. and then show Excel the pattern. So I clicked and dragged to highlight 6 and 6.30. That's the pattern. I go to the autofill handle, click and drag and pull down. And now the pattern goes every 30 minutes, not every 60 minutes. So this autofill handle is really pretty smart. Other things related to time that work well with this include also the months, so January. And you can spell it out or you can abbreviate it either way, but it's understood by the autofill handle to be months, which are related to time, 
and so it just automatically extends the pattern. But again, if you don't want it to do that, hold control and click and drag the autofill handle and it will just copy and not extend a pattern. Now, one other thing to be aware of, when you're working with a small manageable spreadsheet like this one that really only has 20 or 30 rows in it, it's totally reasonable to just click and hold the autofill handle and drag down, right? That's not a burden, it's not difficult, but imagine a spreadsheet with 500 rows, 1,000 records, or whatever it is. How tedious would that be to click and drag the autofill handle down? Well, the good news is, instead of clicking and dragging it down, you can highlight the cell, or in this case, the pattern, the range that you want to copy or extend, and then just go to the autofill handle and double click. Now you can see what it did. It extended the pattern all the way down as far as my data goes. So because my data only reaches row 19, that's as far as the autofill double click went. It didn't go any further because there's no data below that. And so that's why if I go to a new sheet and I just type in January and then I click on the cell and double click on the autofill handle, look, nothing happens. Why? Because January is already as far down as my data goes. There's no data below it. If I add some data like that, then now I can double click and it extends the pattern or the time sequence as far down as my data exists. So back on sheet one, I can just double click here on the April autofill handle and it fills it in the rest of the way down. So I hope that you'll look for opportunities to use the autofill handle. When you're using it, use the click and drag method when you're dealing with a short list like this one here. If the list is much longer, you might want to just double click on the autofill handle and have it automatically populate down the page. And then remember, if you don't want to extend the pattern or the time sequence, just hold the control key when you click and drag and it will just simply copy and repeat. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please click the like button below and consider connecting with me on my social media accounts like Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. And definitely do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students. And when you do subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And watch for a new video from me at least every Monday. If you'd like to support my channel, consider becoming a supporter of mine through my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.